गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ यू ऑल वी आर डूइंग द चैप्टर सेल इन द सेल द टॉपिक इज यू क्रियोटिक एंड प्रो क्रियोटिक यू क्रियोटिक आर दोज विच हैव वेल डिफाइंड और वेल ऑर्गेनाइज न्यूक्लियस एंड द प्रो क्रियोटिक विच डोंट हैव एनी वेल डिफाइंड न्यूक्लियस द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ यू क्रियोटिक आर सेल ऑफ प्लांट एंड एनिमल्स एंड प्रो क्रियोटिक आर एग्जाम्पल्स आर बैक्टीरिया एंड ब्लू ग्रीन एलगी इन द ला नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वी हैव फर्टिलाइज एग और जयगोड वॉट इज फर्टिलाइज एग और जयगोड ऑल दीज सेल्स अराइज फ्रॉम अ सिंगल सेल कोड फर्टिलाइज एग और जयगोड जयगोड डिवाइडेड इंटू लार्ज नंबर ऑफ सेल्स बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ सेल डिविजन एंड डिवेलप द मल्टीपल ऑर्गेनिजम एंड जयगोड इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ मेल स्पर्म एंड फीमेल ओवम एंड नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक कंपेरिजन ऑफ प्लांट एंड एनिमल सेल दैट वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस इन जूम क्लास द कंपेरिजन बिटवीन एनिमल सेल एंड प्लांट सेल ऑल्सो द डायग्राम्स ऑफ प्लांट सेल एंड एनिमल सेल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके एनिमल सेल एंड प्लांट सेल दैट वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस इन जूम क्लास ऑलरेडी एंड नाउ द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर इज light next chapter is light what is light light is a natural agent that stimulate sight and makes the things visible that is known as light or uh, that is the one definition of light and the pheno first phenomena in your book at page number 174 is reflection of light now what is reflection of light a ray of light from a light source change its direction of propagation and bounce back when it falls on the smooth shiny object means you can say the bouncing back of light is known as reflection of light and uh, the phenomena of bouncing back of light is known as reflection of light reflection of light occurs on all shiny surfaces for example we have this polished mirror and uh, this is the light source at point a uh, and the ray comes from the light source is known as incident ray and the this normal makes the angle 90 degree with the mirror and when this ao incident ray falls on the mirror due to reflection it bounces back ob is the reflected ray which bounces back from point o from the mirror and this is normal and the angle between incident ray and normal is known as angle of incident and it is denoted by i and the angle between bo reflected ray and normal co is known as angle of reflection and it is denoted by the angle r this is the complete phenomena of reflection of light now incident ray we know that the ray comes from the light source and strikes on the shiny surface for example mirror is known as incident ray here ao is the incident ray point of incident o is the point of incident where the light ray strikes on the mirror that point is known as point of incident next is reflected ray reflected ray the light which reflected or bounces back from mirror is known as reflected ray here ob is the reflected ray normal the normal we know that the line drawn perpendicular to the surface of the object for example mirror is known as normal at the point of incident co is the normal normal that makes an angle 90 degree with the mirror and the next is angle of incidence angle of incidence is the angle between 
incident ray and normal aoc is the angle of incident a o c this one the angle between incident ray and normal angle of reflection boc is the angle of reflection b o c this angle is angle of reflection okay now the very important topic is laws of reflection of light whenever a reflection takes place it follows two important laws the first one is during reflection of light ray the incident ray we know that the incident ray that comes from the source reflected ray the ray which bounces back normal which makes angle 90 degree with the surface or mirror all lies in the same plane that is the first law of reflection second one is angle i is equals to angle r what is angle i angle of incident what is angle r angle of reflection so the angle i is always equal to angle r means the angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection uh, in case of mirror this is the second law of reflection okay the law of reflection tells us about the direction of light that reflects from surface the activity 1 and 2 we will discuss in the zoom class for example if angle i is equals to 30 degree this angle is 30 degree we know that due to second law angle i is equal to angle r so if angle i is equal to 30 degree then angle r is also 30 degree okay also uh, angle a o m is 30 degree then we have to find angle i how we will find angle i we know that this angle is 90 degree this angle is also 90 degree this is 90 degree total and this is 30 degree so the remaining this one is 60 degree okay also we can find this next one is plane mirror now what is plane mirror the mirror that is made by putting a thin layer of silver nitrate and aluminum behind a flat piece we have to take the glass and in the one side we have to polish it so it will make a plane mirror these are the important characteristics of plane mirror what are the important characteristics of plane mirror the image formed is virtual virtual means it can't be taken on screen okay and uh, Uh, it is same as the object means if object is of 10 cm height so image is also of 10 cm height it is always upright means the direction is same as object upright next is image is always at far side the mirror if this is the mirror this is the object if object is at 10 cm from the mirror then image is also in between the mirror at 10 cm this is a very important property of plane mirror that is later inversion later inversion is the right hand side of an object appears to be left hand side of the image and vice versa means your left hand side uh, if you see at the mirror it is right hand side if you see uh, you have your left hand side wave your left hand side then the image will wave the right hand side this left right inversion is known as lateral inversion lateral inversion is the consequence of image formation by reflection of light the mirror planes uh, also the plane mirror forms virtual erect upside and lateral inversion okay these are the important properties of image formed by plane mirror next different type of surfaces these are the different type of surfaces regular and irregular regular that is smooth reflection takes place very smoothly and uh, irregular reflection is like this not perfect okay these are the differences of regular and irregular surfaces okay mirror glass water such as smooth or regular reflection is perfect here but in irregular reflection is like this 
okay reflection is diffused which type of object shows the diffused reflection plastic sheet writing paper etc these will show the 